everybody, this is Lori back with VD and we're on lesson six. Today we're going to go through, or for this lesson, we're going to go through the sit, down, stand combination. Really just focusing on the sit and the down and then standing in between so that we can work on both of them. A couple of points I want to make is that first of all, you want to make sure that your timing is good. You know, you want to give them your clicker or your yes word at the point where they're doing what you want them to do. And what you'll find with this is a lot of times you end up having to reinforce them or mark that they're doing well, like giving them a click or a yes or a treat, long before they actually get to the position you want, like halfway sit, halfway down. And that's because what I found with Whippet puppies, they're kind of temperamental about this. And when you first start working them on it, they might be not really be paying attention to what you're doing with them and they'll follow the food down to the sit or the uh, down position and then Suddenly they're like, oh my God, what am I doing? Wait a second, I'm not sure if I like this. Especially if you're touching them at all. Some of them don't like to be manipulated into positions. I do a combination of both, it just depends on how they're doing. So we use both luring, which is getting them to follow a treat, and where their head goes, then their body goes. And then sometimes I'll use a little bit of physical help especially with the sit because what I found with whippets is they don't like to tuck their rears up under and you sometimes have to teach them how to do that and that means kind of physically helping them tuck their rear. We'll see how BB does today. huh? <laughs> and now I'm not going to use the clicker with her because what I found is she's just new to the clicker and, I, and she's not really all that uh, enthused about it quite yet so I'm going to use a yes word so when you hear me say yes, that means that that's the point where I would normally be clicking. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, baby. Okay, when you're starting something new like this, it's a little bit difficult. You do want to start them out with a, a higher value treat. I've got my cheese here, and she really likes the cheese. And I want her to get so engrossed in the food that she doesn't really know what's happening. So we're going to start with the sit. And what you want to do is raise the food up enough to get them to drop their rear. Yes, good girl. And then give her a big chunk. Good girl. Okay. Now, to get her to stand up, I just put my hand up underneath her knee and get her standing. So we try it again. Good. Yes, good girl. Now you notice I'm not telling her to sit. I don't want to worry about the command at all. Because once again, I don't want to bring a command in to training until I'm sure the dog is comfortable doing it, they know how to do it, and they're going to be successful. So I'm just worried about getting the behavior. Yes, good girl. Very good girl. By the way, this is the first time she's ever done this. So um, now. You'll notice there's two ways of getting them to sit. One, you could raise their head. Do you see how she rocks back like that? Um, that's okay if you're not going to show an obedience. But if you're going to show an obedience, they have to bring their rear end up to their front. So you bring them forward a little bit. You see, I, I lure her forward. Good, yes. Uh, I lure her forward to get her to sit. So let's try the down. The down's a little bit tougher because they're... they're they end up being in a little bit more submissive position. Uh, and what I found is that sometimes they tend to try to drop their rear first. You want them to collapse their front. So get them really interested in the treat, have them follow it down, and then push your hand back. Good, yes, that's a good girl. Okay, let's get back up, good girl. And I'm gonna straighten her out a little bit so it's easier for the camera. Okay, so once again, get her engrossed, down, and then push back with the treat push back. Good, yes. Good. So, get her back up. Good girl. Okay, ready? Good. Push back. Get her to... Good. Ah. She didn't quite do it, so she didn't get all the treat. Good girl. Yes. Okay. I stopped her there and told her yes, because I... If you have problem, and they only go halfway down, and they start getting kind of funny about it, just practice doing these. Yes, good girl. Okay. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. I'm going to straighten her rear out. Yes, good girl. Okay. Now this time I'm going to have her follow it all the way down. Yes, good girl. You notice I tend to stroke them here. 
I have found with some whippets that they won't go down. Um, they'll go three quarters of the way and then they get uncomfortable, especially dogs that tend to be a little bit more, I shouldn't say dominant. So if you have to, it's okay sometimes to give a little bit of a squeeze or a little bit of a stroke to encourage them. Good, yes, good girl. Uh, so to get them going. So now, if you want them to stand, what you want to do is teach them to kick their back legs out like that. And a lot of times I do help them with that. So I go to a, I'm going to do an SIT. Good girl. We're going to pull your finger forward and get her to kick her legs back out. Okay. I'm going to get her to collapse. Yes. Good girl. And that was a great, great session with her. So we're going to end at that. She got the whole big piece of cheese, the whole patootie there. And when you're working on this exercise, you've noticed I've got her on a table. The other thing I didn't bring up is I have a rug, one of those furry rugs uh, that you use to kind of catch dog stuff when they walk in the house, but it works really well for a training uh, table. So when you're working them on a table, especially with whippets or on the floor, practice working them on a rug or a mat because they don't like to go down on their elbows and their rear ends because they don't have a lot of fat on a hard floor. So start out training them on the grass or on something soft and I think you'll find it's a lot easier. The other thing is if they start balking on you then go back a step and just do some short little quick like well, drop their head like I did with her or a par partial sit or take a rest. Let them off the table, wait five minutes then bring them back up and try it again. So that's how you're going to be successful with training your Whippet puppy on this sit-down stand. And you want to do it maybe five, five minutes and then end on a good point where they've done a really good one. Celebrate it. You can play with them for a minute. Give them their treat. And then, you know, that's what you're going to do. So I'm going to do two, one, one more video. And I'm going to have Mead and I'm going to have Queenie, which are, uh, which are her litter mates. And you'll see that each dog's a little bit different and they all respond a little bit differently. So you get a little bit of variety in how we do this exercise with different puppies, right? Thank you.